This is lesson 832c. We're going to take a look at factoring a polynomial using the rational roots theorem. So we're going to factor polynomials using the rational roots theorem. So first example, factor the polynomial. Now when we look at this, it's like, where do I start? Right? We're used to me saying, here is a zero, or here is a factor. And you would use that factor to then be able to factor the polynomial further. We don't have that information. So to be able to create the possibilities of what I use, what would be those c's, we have to use that rational roots theorem that we went over yesterday. So this was the possible p's, this was the possible q's, and so we create a list of them of the p's over q's. So 1 and 3, those are the factors of 3 over the factors of q, which is 1. So I get plus or minus 1 and plus or minus 3. And so these values here, I'm going to test it. So we let's try positive 1. Let's see if 1 works. So 1, negative 1, negative 5, and negative 3. Add straight down, multiply, add, multiply, add, multiply. OK, that doesn't work. How do I know it doesn't work? Well, my remainder wasn't 0. So now I move on. I try negative 1. Add straight down, multiply, add, multiply, add, multiply, add. It worked because my remainder is 0. So what I have right now is x plus 1 times remainder constant x, x squared, times x squared minus 2x minus 3. And so this is actually going to factor further. So that'll factor into 1 and 3, so negative 3 and positive 1. And so this is my factored polynomial. And I could also say, I know you guys are thinking, Mr. Duval, x plus, two or x plus 1 squared. Yeah, you're right. You could also do it that way. And that's my factored polynomial. So this right here is my answer. And you know, from here, we can now graph the polynomial, right? What are my zeros? My zeros are negative 1 and 3, multiplicity 2, multiplicity 1. We can do all of these other things. My end behavior, all I have to do is look at the original. Positive, odd. Uh, my y-intercept, you plug in 0 for x, so it'll just be negative 3. So I can do all of these other things now, and we use that rational zeros theorem, or the rational roots test, to be able to go through, create that list of possible zeros, and we go through and we test it to be able to factor it. So let's look at another example. So same thing, p's over q's. So the p's over q's. So here, 1, 2, 4, 8, and 16 over 1. And so I can create a list of those possibilities. So plus or minus 1, plus or minus 2, plus or minus 4, plus or minus 8, and plus or minus 16. So here, we just start testing. Let's try positive 1. 1, negative 1, negative 12, negative 4, and 16. Add straight down, multiply, add, multiply, add, multiply, add, multiply, add. It works. So 1 is a possibility. So what I have now is x minus 1, right, because it's x minus your 0. And then I have, let's see, remainder constant x, x squared, x cubed. So 1x cubed minus 12x minus 16. Now, I don't know if there's another 1. What if there's multiplicity? So let's try 1 again. So I'm going to try 1 again and see 1. And we're going to use the coefficients of this. So 1, 0, negative 12, negative 16. Add straight down, multiply, add, multiply, add. Doesn't look like it's going to work. OK, so there's no more 1s. So now I'm going to move on to negative 1. Let's see if negative 1 works. And so I'm going to use this factored, partially factored polynomial already. So now I have 1, 0, negative 12, and negative 16. Add straight down, multiply, add, multiply, add. OK, that doesn't look like it's going to work either. So now we move on to 2. Add 
add straight down, multiply, add, multiply, add. Yeah. Bummer. Didn't work. Let's try negative two. You're probably thinking, this is tedious. It is tedious towards the beginning. I'm just going through and just trying them out in like order, right? I'm just literally going in order. As you get better at this, you're going to see patterns, and those patterns are going to help you out a little bit. So add straight down, multiply, add, multiply. So that gives me 4, which is negative 8. Multiply, <gasps> ding, 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 ding. So that's a 0 there. So now I have x minus 1 because of this one. All right, I'm going to highlight it. Then I have this one, so that's x plus 2. And then now I have this, remainder constant x, x squared. So that's going to be x squared minus 2x minus 8. And so then that factors into, let's see, uh, factors of 8 are 4 and 2. How does that add to negative 2? So negative 4 and positive 2. So then I'm going to get x plus 2 squared times x minus 1 times x minus 4. And that's what my function is going to equal. And like I said, now I could find the zeros. I can do the in behavior. I can do all of that. And I can sketch my polynomial. So now I want you to try one. Factor this polynomial. All right, so let's go over it. P's over Q's. So 1, 2, See, 3 works, so that's going to be 3 and 12, 2 and 18, 36, whew, and then 4 and 9, and then 6. That's a lot of factors. And it's all over 1, so I'm just going to say it's plus or minus all of those. Just be a little quick. All right, so now let's test things out. So let's try 1. So I have 1, negative 4, negative 5, 36, and negative 36. Add straight down, multiply, add, multiply, add, multiply. That's not going to work. So let's try negative 1. 1, negative 4, negative 5, 36, and negative 36. Add straight down, multiply, add, multiply, add, multiply, add, multiply, add. Oh, I feel like that one was so close. Makes me feel like it almost did something wrong. All right, so that didn't work. So let's try positive 2. Negative 4, negative 5, 36, and negative 36. Add, multiply, add, multiply, add, multiply. Wait, wait for it. Wait for it. <gasps> Woohoo! We found one. Ding, ding, ding. Two is one of them. So that means I have, I'm going to put a little magic line here. So that means I have x minus 2, and then remainder constant x, x squared, x cubed. So x cubed minus 2x squared minus 9x plus 18. So what if 2 works again? Let's try it out. So let's try 2 again. 1, negative 2, negative 9, and 18. So let's see if that works again. So bring down the 1, multiply, add, multiply, add, multiply. It does. Ding, 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 ding. So now this is my remainder, constant x and x squared. So now I have x minus 2, x minus 2, and x squared minus 9. And so now I got to factor that x squared minus 9. Uh, that's a difference of squares. And so that'll factor into x plus 3 and x minus 3. And then I have two of these, so that's x minus 2 squared. And that right there is going to be your answer. Now, you guys could still do polynomial long division for this, right? If I did negative 3 in the box and I had 1, 0, and negative 9, bring down, multiply, add, multiply, add. So that gives me the x plus 3 
And then this right here, remainder constant x, there's your x minus 3. So what did we learn today? We learned how to factor a polynomial using the rational roots theorem. And so what did we use? The rational roots theorem. The rational roots theorem. Boom. This does conclude our lesson. If you have any other questions, leave them in the comments.